Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. In this session, we want to focus on utilizing internet resources for Quranic research. For the sake of time, we've opened a number of windows. We have them in tab form. We're starting off with uh, Quran.com. Okay, the, the strong point of this website is that it gives us a number of different translations that we can compare. So we're looking at Ayat 15 as an introductory point to our study. So here what I've noted is that you can look at the ayat without tashkil and with tashkil. This is Tafsir Jalalain. So the skill set is that you have to have some Arabic in order to benefit from this exercise incomplete. But even without Arabic, you can still benefit to some extent and I'll show you how. So we're looking at ayat 15. So what we're going to do is read, right? Hypothetically read the different translations and then look at the differences between them. Right? The second thing that we would do is we would look at, I picked uh, Maududi's tafsir, englishtafsir.com Maududi. The reason why is because it gives us a discussion on the name of the surah, the classification, whether it's Mecca or Medini. And that means a lot. If it's Mecca or Medini, there's the surah is going to have a certain uh, char series of characteristics. So that's to be discovered or to be uh, dealt with in the sciences of the Quran. So the skill set presumes right, that you have some understanding of the sciences. So here it gives us a historical background and some themes. So now we went from looking at the translations, now to looking at what the historical background, whether it's Mecca, Medini. And so we're reading now the surah in the whole context. Before we were just reading one ayat, now we look, we're, we're looking at the surah in the whole context. Before we looked at one ayat that's located in Surah Al-Baqarah. So then we go to tafsir.com and we just picked one random tafsir. And then we see that the tafsir here is not that long in the Arabic language. But if we were to use, let's say, Al-Qurtubi, it's two pages long. So tafsir.com is an Arabic website, two pages long. The benefit of this website is that you have tens of tafsirs at your fingertips. If you don't indicate the tafsir, the type of tafsir that you want, you can scroll down a list of tafsir. So you can look at all of them back to back, right, one at a time. And here it allows you to print. Then Say, for instance, if we want to look at a, at a grammatical point in the ayat that we're studying, right? Ayat 15 of Surah Al-Baqarah. So we go to Corpus Quran. I want to show you this. Corpus Quran is a very nice website. So here, you hit on Yastahziyu. And here it tells you that it's a verb in the third person, right? And it gives you the meaning. Say, for instance, you want to do a word research. Say you want to research Allah. So now you go to al bahith which is a, a series of Arabic dictionaries. There's one, two, three, four, five. So you can what search five dictionaries at the same time. But here only uh, we're getting Lisan al Arab, so we only get the results from one dictionary. Say for instance, if you want to do English Arabic search, go here. You go to Lane's lexicon. And then you will look the word up here, right? You can uh, you can play with this. You can play with the uh, font size. So then you try to look up the word here, whatever comes closest to Allah, and then you search from there, right? Say now if you want to add Ibn Kathir to it, so you go to Quran, Tafsir. So then you go here to Ibn Kathir, and you see what is being said. This is ayah 15. The only thing here is that it what it amalgamates two ayahs of the Quran together, 14 and 15. So then you there's no tips here at this point, but here it says okay now it gives us some indication of a theme that's in the ayah. It's not complete, so to speak. So it's only giving us tafsir for one part. So, 
and this is the part that is giving us it's not even IA 15 is IA 14 so let's continue to search and see what we find so we're really not getting much there so Ibn Kathir doesn't help us but that's how you would do a systematic search of the Quran utilizing uh, the various tools online thank you for taking out the time to watch and listen and learn and we hope that this was beneficial so the goal is to try to be systematic know your sources and then have an idea of how you're going to use those sources in Quranic research